few weeks ago, I introduced to the world my one of one set of Tacomo 301 MB and CB copper irons. Now, since then, a lot of people have been asking, James, where can I get these? How much are they? And how on earth have you come across these irons? So much so, a lot of people wanted a full in-depth review, which is what we are doing today. Hi everyone, my name is James Robinson. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, make sure you do consider hitting that subscribe button. Today, I have something very, very special. And I've used these irons a heck of a lot, but not a lot in the rounds because I've been playing really, really well. I shot my best ever score at Tiger Woods' Big Cedar Lodge together with these irons and with the Swag Putter. And I'm going to talk through today just exactly when you can maybe expect these irons to be released, how many of them you could maybe expect to be released, and how these are just a prototype. And I believe the actual ones that come may well be a little bit different and a little bit more special, dare I say. So I've got the four iron with me here. And I'm going to show you just kind of some of the ball flights I have been getting with these. So these run CB four iron down to seven iron and MB eight iron, nine iron pitching wedge. For me, that is a magical combination. It's the perfect combination. And they are basically the same technology as the Tacoma 301 CB and MBs. What technology is that, you ask? Well, it's not a lot because it's a set of CBs with some perimeter weight in cavity back and MBs with a muscle back. So if I can hit you a couple of shots into this gale force wind, one of the things I really, really like about the four iron is looking down at it, it doesn't feel as though it's too difficult to hit. You can see a gorgeous ball flight there. And one of the big things that I love about these irons is turf interaction. You can see I've exited ever so slightly left there and taken a lovely divot. Now these irons that I have, the prototypes, have white grooves in them. That might not be correct when we see the actual irons come at some point in 2024. And I mentioned that these are gonna be limited runs. They're gonna be limited numbers. And that's for something very, very special that is coming from Tacoma in 2024. I can't believe I'm so lucky to have these. These are one of one so far. I believe there's another set somewhere in Finland with slightly different specs that maybe Seb's got, but even off the floor, I feel like I can pick my trajectory, pick my ball flight. If I move this back in my stance, and if Chris comes in here and just shows us over the top of the ball, that top line looks spectacular very very minimal offset and for me those white grooves just help me square that club face up which some people don't need to but i really feel like it helps and it feels really really powerful for an iron that is designed let's face it to look good feel good and perform pretty well as well they're going to be very very similar to the irons that you see wesley bryan use at the moment on the pga tour he probably hits them a little bit better than I do, I'm not going to lie. But if I put a couple of shots on screen now from that day at Big Cedar Lodge, the four iron, I hit into the final hole, which was the ninth hole for us, and I had 210 yards in. I was feeling nervous because, let's face it, I was five under par. I didn't want to ruin it, and I hit this shot. Um, we've got 210 yards in, not what we planned. 214 yards in. I feel like I can just play. Yeah, that nice one I was hitting on the range a few days ago. I'll be good. I've absolutely nuked that. That's the best shot I've hit all day. That is the best shot I've hit all day. Four iron into the wind, 214. I'm hoping it's stopped. Flag high-ish. Now for me, that's mega important because if I can stand at a golf ball with a four iron, sometimes I don't even have a four iron. I would just go hybrid and hit the shot I want to hit. I know I can rely on that club. I know I can hit the shot I want to play. And even if I want to move it right to left in the air, I know I can do so. Guys, let's talk mid irons. Let's talk CB and MB combined. And also we're going to jump in the studio today and show you just how far these irons go for me and what spin rates we get because to be honest they're pretty perfect now for me one of the big things that a lot of people have mentioned here with these clubs is the bag appeal of so many people when i'm at the driving range or when we're playing golf even at cedar lodge when the swag event was on they were saying what are those irons oh my god those irons look spectacular and i must admit when you do see them in the bag I, I can't tell you a better looking set of irons that I've ever seen. I think they look absolutely gorgeous. So when we get down into the mid irons of this Tacomo set, we'll talk about the difference between the seven and the eight iron because the seven iron is the lowest CB and the eight iron is the highest MB. And for me, I think these look really, really good. If I throw online now a picture of the top lines, 
you will not really be able to tell a huge difference. We have 155 yards here on my favorite par three. So I'm gonna go with the eight iron. And the eight iron for me is a lovely looking club. I wouldn't usually use a bladed club. I wouldn't certainly have a full set of blades because to be honest, I'm not that good. But in this set, you can get a traditional set of blades or a set of CBs from Tacoma if you want. You can also get the split set if you want them in the standard 301. So, very difficult hole today with this wind. My hood is playing a disaster as well. Looking down at this, the face doesn't need to clean. I apologize for that. But a gorgeous looking eight iron. And just really nice and easy to get that ball launching where you do want it. It's downwind, that might have gone a little bit long actually, but we'll go again. And again, if we talk turf interaction, that's exactly what I'm looking for. I start that one a touch left. Let's go more center of the green and allow more for the wind. But I certainly don't feel like I'm having to force anything with these clubs. They're very traditional lofted, very, very traditional clubs. And again, they just look spectacular, don't they? Let's go one more. Let's see if we can We've not had a hole in one yet this year. There's not long left to this year, but I played incredibly well with them out in America, as you can probably remember. If you've seen that video, if you haven't, go and check it out. Right, this time. There we go, be the one, be the one. And that is why I'm really, really enjoying these golf clubs. Let's go inside, let's talk numbers for the long irons and mid irons and short irons. They're gonna be, as you would expect, they're not a powerful iron, but they're also not mega, mega traditional lofted either. And let's test the short irons out here, because for me, the short iron blade is spectacular around the greens. And you see guys, one of the big reasons why I really like these golf clubs, especially the low irons, is this. They are like lasers towards the flag. For me, around 130 yards, is what a pitching wedge should do. That's exactly what's happened there. 125 carry, 130 total. I could even move back a little bit here, potentially on the golf zone range. Let's go 131. This should be about a right number. And can we carry the bunker? There's a bunker out there around 120. And for me, it's interesting. I've actually misstruck that quite a lot. And this is where you'll see the blade element come into it. Misstruck that 114 carry. And the good shot spun at 10,000. That around for me is a really, really nice number because I know that when I strike the ball well, I'm gonna get the control that I want with the wedge. That was a better one, that should be all over it. But you can see that I'm really enjoying these shots. I'm really enjoying hitting the correct distances and enjoying hitting it close to the flag. And I have done a few distance tests with this and a few gapping tests, which I would recommend all golfers do. And the pitching wedge was a very interesting one because so many people think, well, my pitching wedge goes 140 yards every single time. But realistically, if you have a traditional lofted club like this, as long as you know it's carrying one, two, five with a good shot and maybe releasing out a little bit, depending obviously how the greens are, then you know you can hit those shots. I like knowing this goes 125 yards. I don't need a pitching wedge to go 140 yards because then I need more wedges in the bottom end of the bag. If we move up now to the mid irons, and we'll go a bit further back, we'll go, we've got an eight iron, so we'll go 150. An eight iron, again, is the bladed eight iron here, so it is the MB eight iron. I'd be looking for this to spin around seven and a half thousand, maybe 8,000 if I really strike it well. So, can we, what have we got, 153. Should just be a nice eight iron here. Struck that really, really nice. I pulled it a little bit, so the spin might drop off here and it might be a little bit longer than what we anticipated, 153. But I know that around 150 for me is an eight iron. That spun at 7,000 on the nose, 7,055 to be very precise. So I can sort of tell you already what numbers I should be hitting here. And that, I think for a good iron player, is potentially exactly what you want to be doing. That was a much better one. That was a nice low fade. And that one's gonna be again 153. So two shots, exactly the same pretty much. That one spun six and a half thousand. I've compressed it a little bit more, but really, really nice ball speed and really nice head speed there. Can we draw one in this time here on the simulator? Because workability is a huge aspect of them. You can see that working in nicely now. This one will be lower spin because I hit a draw, 
but again, it's carried 156, released out a little bit more. That one spun down at 5,000 because I've just hit a little draw there. Now, what about the four iron? And the four iron for me is certainly a club that I've said it already outside. Sometimes I don't even have a four iron, but if we move back here now, 207, do we go more? 218, we'll go to 18. This is pretty much my limit for the four iron. I would have thought maybe 207 would be the one, but we'll have a go because the beauty about this is I feel like I can hit it harder with it being the CB head as opposed to the MB head. I feel like I can really give it a go. So without any further ado, let's try and get a nice strike on there. That was an awful strike, by the way. That was, that's why sometimes I don't have a four iron in the bag. That wasn't my best stuff at all. 196 let's go again they're not all good guys they're not all good shots i think if you watch anyone on the tube and they're all good shots then they're either a lot better than me or they're not putting them all in but let's go again let's keep our balance on this swing that was a little bit better still a little bit to the left i think james needs to work on his long irons here i think i've tried to bath more than i can chew there christy so. should we move it down a little bit and this is where I've spent so much more time <laughs> in the rough, spent so much more time with 207 here. The pitching wedge and the eight iron in testing, in practice. Who practices so much with a four iron? Looks like I should practice more with a four iron. But now this is a comfortable yardage and I've just put a nice, nice swing on it there. You can see that's a lot more on target, a much better golf swing. And actually, oh, I thought we carried it. So what we're saying here basically is four iron is a 200 club for James, unless he absolutely rips it like he does here. There we go. I mean, it's left, but we got there. Guys, let's jump back outside. Let's see exactly why I like the bladed short irons. Thanks so much for watching. I need to practice with this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna carry on practicing. And so guys, very good numbers there in the studio. I knew exactly what they would be because I feel like these irons are nice and consistent for me. And one thing I want to talk about is how these irons have stood pretty much the test of time. I've taken these over to America, brought them back, and you can see the finish is actually looking really, really nice and industrial still. I've used these pretty much every day since and they're looking good still, which is a big thing because these are obviously copper plated irons. But what I love about the short irons is being able to play shots like this where I can really start to manufacture shots. I know with a pitching wedge here, it's going to release out nicely for me. And if you didn't have a bladed pitching wedge, you may well struggle to do that and potentially not have as much control as you do want. Go on then. Oh. But for me, certainly having the split set, the finish just kind of tops it off for me. Not everyone may like this chrome finish or this copper finish, should I say, but some people might want the satin or the chrome finish. Others may want the black finish that Chris was trying out, which again, will come to fruition later on next year. But for me, certainly a set of irons, which I'm really, really enjoying. Huge thanks to Tacoma for sorting these out and let me be the kind of pilot behind them or the guinea pig behind them. Hopefully I'm doing them justice. And apart from that, guys, I'll see you all exactly the same time tomorrow. Thank you so much for your time watching today. Goodbye.